Welcome to the Yeti mobile app training video. This video is going to cover how to use the Yeti mobile app when in the field uh, servicing properties. This screen here is what you'll see after you've logged in with your account. First thing I'm going to show you is things you can do with your account. Things like updating your profile with an avatar, your phone number, and time zone. Changing your password, looking at your company information, things like company code which will allow you to get other users up and running quickly. Settings, uh, reminder settings for periods of inactivity. This is useful for uh, reminding you to end your shift after a long shift. Navigation app preferences will allow you to choose from one of those three navigation apps if they are installed on your device. Going back, news and training. This will be where this video resides for future reference. Shift history. Shift history is going to show you all of the routes that you've performed the sites that were serviced during that route, any photos, weather observations, notes uh, that you took, those will all be available here in your history to be able to refer to. Messages. Messages are two-way messages between you and other crew members and between you and dispatch. When you receive a new message, you'll see a badge, just like an iMessage type alert. You'll be able to click into the messages, find different users, send them uh, direct messages, Dispatch will see when that message has been delivered and when it's been read. Routes. Routes is the area where you're going to be able to look at any route that's been assigned to you. Any dispatches that have been created and sent to you will be available here as well. The routes can be clicked on, showing you the sites included in the route, the route notes, and you can actually go in and look at each location. Without starting a shift, you can view each location, get driving directions there, and you can uh, review the site maps uh, so you're prepared for work when you get to that location. And the last button here, of course, is starting a shift. So when you're starting your shift out to Kudo and do work, you're going to hit the start shift button. It's going to lead you to the next screen, which is going to allow you to either create a new crew from your crew member list in the top right hand corner as well as uh, selecting the equipment that you have with you. Now you can select multiple pieces of equipment or if it's just uh, one piece you can select that as well. This will make things streamline things when you go to service each individual site. I'm going to click next. It's going to ask me which route I'm performing today. I'm going to click Chilliwack demo route. Now I've got my site list here. Now it does not force me to go through that list in that order. I can start in a different order. I can service one property multiple times. I can move around in this list, but the list is intended to be in this order as the plan for how dispatch has requested that these sites be serviced. So I'm gonna click on the first site, Mr. Liquidator. Again, I see the notes here. These are site specific notes, things like gate codes, management contacts, clearing priorities. I also have the maps that I can view and zoom into in more detail. There may be one or multiple maps that you can pull here to look to get uh, familiar with the property. I'm going to start the site. It sees my site maps again, the notes again. Now it's going to ask me for weather observations. I'm going to select what I see when I get to site. If there are snow on the ground, I want to put a snow depth in here. Now normally sites are, we request one photo before at least and one photo after. Now this is up to your operations as to how many photos they'd like you to take. Now when it comes to taking photos, you can take them in any sequence that you want. You can take uh, before and after and then you can take another before if you want. You can manage those photos. If something's not a good photo, you can delete that one and start over. I'm going to take those. Now the service list. This is what each site is going to have a specific set of services to select from. And in this case, these are the options at this location. I'm just going to salt a lot. Now it's going to automatically default to the equipment that I selected at the beginning of my shift. If I wanted to add other equipment at this point, I can also do that. For instance, I can add other plow equipment and I can set the times that each of those pieces of equipment were used on site. In this case, it's just the truck doing a salt service. And any notes here. This is something that we want to be thinking about that might be something for follow-up or uh, something that inhibited your ability to do work, maybe something unsafe, something that you need to make a log of. I'm going to put 
put that note in. Now I see I've got a 1x next to the Mr. Liquid error that tells me I've completed that site one time. I can immediately go back into that location if I need to service it a second time on this shift. Otherwise, most of the time I end up going down to the next site on the list. See that? Here's my notes. Here's my site map. I can see the notes here, pile locations, no sidewalks. I'm good to go. Now once you've entered weather observations on your shift the first time, Yeti's going to populate the weather observations throughout the rest of your shift. Now you can edit those things if, if there are things have changed from site to site, things like snow depth or temperature. And we will take another before and another after. I would suggest that you use more than one photo before and one after. In this case, we're also going to populate the service performed and the equipment used. This will allow you to move quickly through the app from site to site. Frost, present, salted, hitting. I'm going to end that site. All right. Now you can see how this progression works. Yeah, rather than continuing through the next two sites, I'm just going to go ahead and end my route. Now I can move back to the route list and I can select another route if I'm being asked to do more work. In this case, I've just been asked to end my shift. All right, puts me back into my home screen and this is where the app will live until you decide to start shift or maybe you receive a message you need to go in and check and respond to. Uh, that shift will be now residing in your shift history. You're able to go back and refer to that at any time. Thanks for your attention. Thanks for watching the video and good luck out there in the wintertime.